What inspired you to print this? Good question. I don't have a reason, really. <laughs> <laughs> to learn. Yeah, okay, that's good. Um, and then, uh, wow, all right, if I could focus. There. Um, uh, so you said brushless. What characterizes brushless over non-brushless? Uh, the brushes. So when there's no brushes, it is brushless. Uh -huh. uh, when it has brushes, that would be a brushed motor. And why would you use a brush in a motor? I thought they just spun. They don't need to sweep anything. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Good, John, John, get in here. John. This is John Levine, KHGR News. I'm here with Sean Watson of the 3D printing team. Sean, tell us about what you're printing today. They were printing a DC brushless electric motor. It's going to be the stator of a outrunner motor. Sean, is this safe? Until you turn it on. That's all, folks. Thank you. <laughs> now we wait. What it's going to do is keep both the build from going more acetone. Do you see any acetone in there? Or you can see that. Genuine hacker. Is there like firmware updates? No, you can, like, I could put the build files on the SD card and throw them. With ABS and no raft. So we'll see if it works. What went wrong? Uh, we didn't use a raft. <laughs> How hard is it to add a raft? Click one button. Wait, why can't I? Wait. This is attempt number one. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sophisticated engineering there. Ooh, this one's got a different sound than the Maker by it. <laughs> Alright, there's a bit of cleanup, some squeezers, but otherwise, it doesn't look half bad. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So, next question. Do you think the bearings I have upstairs are going to fit? No. I don't either.